Hey Scorpio, how's it going? Welcome to your All Signs reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or if you're interested in a Scorpio, welcome in everyone. I'm so grateful you are here. Please remember this is a general reading, so only take what resonates and leave the rest. Timestamps will be in the description box. Let's get started. Okay, Spirit. Thank you for bringing those that need messages here today. I'm grateful they are here. Please like and subscribe to the channel. I'd greatly appreciate it if it resonates with you so I can continue to post videos like this for you on YouTube. Also, I'm giving away four 30-minute readings to four lucky subscribers on November 18th. If you're interested, I do have a short video that you can look at on the channel. Okay, Spirit, please tell me what Scorpio needs to know for their highest good. Dealing with an Aries, please. What do they need to know for their highest good with an Aries? Two of Cups. Page of Wands. And for the outcome, we have the Nine of Cups. Well, this is a strong soulmate connection. With the Page of Wands, it's, there's a lot of excitement here. There's, there could be an age difference here. Doesn't have to be. But it, it's like feeling young at heart again is is the energy i'm getting and as far as the outcome the nine of cups that's certainly wish fulfillment so very nice scorpio all right two six okay let's get to taurus spirit please guide me and tell me what scorpio needs to know if they're dealing with a taurus please what do they need to know for their highest good? If they are dealing with a Taurus, please. What do they need to know for their highest good? If they are dealing with a Taurus, please. All right, let's see. We have the Seven of Swords. We have the Eight of Cups. And we have the lovers as the outcome. You know, it's... I feel this was more of an obsessive love here. You know, the Seven of Swords talks about deceit, cheating. The Eight of Cups is someone walking away here. It's like I just keep getting the feeling this was like more exotic and passionate, more sexual attraction here. Some of you, I am going to say that an ex is coming back. This is the energy I'm getting with this outcome. It's like this didn't work out, but perhaps an ex is coming back. Let me clarify the lovers, Scorpio. Let me just, I know that kind of doesn't make sense, but it, like I, I go with the energy that I get. It's like this is ending, so the outcome can be your lover does come in, okay? that That's what I'm getting. Spirit, please give me guidance for the lovers. Why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here? The Knight of Cups. Yeah, some, somebody's coming back. <sighs> hmm. You also may be getting an invitation from someone. Okay. 
All right, I don't want to spend too, too much time because I won't get done the readings, but that's the strong energy that I'm getting. Somebody's coming back. Maybe somebody you were very sexually attracted to. Okay. Gemini. Spirit, please give me guidance for a Scorpio dealing with a Gemini, please. Please give me guidance on a Scorpio dealing with a Gemini. What do they need to know for their highest good regarding love, please? What do they need to know regarding their highest good regarding love, please? Thank you. <clears throat> Eight of Swords. Nine of Cups, and the Magician for the Outcome. Is someone emotionally resistant here? I know this is going to sound crazy, but it's all good because I, I, I got to tell you the energy I'm getting. There's two things here. There's a person who enjoys seeing someone suffer okay which this is horrifically toxic if it is because the outcome from a magician standpoint the magician has two different meanings in a love reading okay one of which is positive one is which is negative so from a negative aspect it's this person plays tricks and and mind games to fuck with your head okay excuse my language but that's what's happening for some of you. And this person, if you haven't seen it yet, you will see it. Very narcissistic tendencies here. And I am not a doctor and I am not here to, to provide any type of diagnosis because I'm clearly not qualified. I'm telling you the energy I'm getting. Someone enjoys... It's, and I don't know if this goes back to their childhood, okay, but they learned this from somewhere of just, I think this person is emotionally imbalanced for sure. I'm not sure they know how to love. It's more of what's in it for them and what rewards they get out of it. And they, they come across like they're this fucking magical person, and they're not. They're toxic as shit. Okay? I'm just throwing that out there. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna dismiss energies when I get them. And sometimes when I bring cards out, it's gonna have multiple meanings. meanings. So only take what resonates, okay? But if you're in something fairly new and you're not sure, make sure you go with your intuition, and just have your guard up here. But someone enjoys seeing and, and, and making someone feel less than what they are. It's like this is nurturing for them and it's unhealthy as shit. Ugh, it's like I'm getting sick. Hang on, I need to light some sage. Ugh. If y'all are in something like this, please get out of it. Ugh. Like this person enjoys tearing people down. And I think because as a child, they were torn down or some, there's some kind of either past life issue here that has come into this lifetime or it's something from their childhood or something. Okay. So I'm just, I'm just telling you. Now, the other scenario I get, okay, hang on, let me, sorry, I don't mean to be putting my hand all up, but I got to get this, I got to get grounded and get this energy out. I feel like something is just not mentally right with this person. Like they come across one way, they have a good disguise. Okay, 
they have a good disguise and Whew. all right I'm gonna leave it at that y'all don't put up with no bullshit and somebody treat me like a piece of shit I'm just gonna throw that out there right now and I'm gonna leave the sage going so if y'all see smoke that's why I'm not on fire okay so the other thing is with this okay is that I'm getting a strong feeling with the eight of swords here is that due to past hurts and past issues past relationships okay that somebody it's like tends to always look at the negative in something okay it's kind of like self-sabotaging is the best word to use here but it's like what if I look at this from a bird's eye view and maybe if I think the universe is truly trying to work in my favor here okay instead of always saying like why can't this work out for me why is this never good enough why am I never good enough why is this but always from a negative perspective it's time to change that thought process here this could be you or your person okay so it, it's time to change that thought process because think about it's all about nurturing your soul here okay and this can be something very nurturing and loving and with the magician it, it you're you may as the outcome you've manifested the your thoughts into reality it is time to take action now now you know in your gut if this feels right don't it's like you're allowing your feels your feelings to get in the way you're i'm sorry you're allowing your fears and i didn't mean to say feelings if i did you're allowing your fears to overcome the beautiful feelings of emotion you have here because you could be scared of getting hurt but this is going to manifest into something really beautiful okay take it as it resonates let's see we got 12 30. cancer another water sign let's see all right, Spirit, please tell me what you have for Scorpio dealing with a Cancer, please. What do they need to know for their highest good? Spirit, what do they need to know? What does Scorpio need to know for their highest good? They're dealing with a Cancer. What do they need to know and love for their highest good, please? And thank you. All right. Eight of Wands, Ace of Wands, Two of Swords as the outcome. Okay, there is a lot, I'm just going to say, a lot, a lot. Let's not even look at this for a second, okay? Let's just look at this. This is coming in hot. You ever listen to that song? That's what I'm hearing in my head at the moment. Because Eight of Wands is so freaking fast. It's fast communication. It's someone quickly coming to travel towards you with a message. And wands are all about passion here. Okay? All about passion. Sexual passion is what I'm getting, is all I'm going to say. The Ace of Wands is all about, it's like creating this new adventure with each other, okay? Now, the Two of Swords is about balancing emotions, negative and positive. Not trying to be too emotionally, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, too emotional about something okay i'm also getting that the you know the two of swords suggest and i'm just saying suggest because i do feel for some of you that because it's strictly wands here and there's no cups there's you know and you have swords as an outcome that there's unexpressed or per potentially blocked emotions 
which will negatively impact this if it's not dealt with. It's about, you know, going within yourself, going within the wisdom you've had and learned here and what you've been given to make a decision. Because there's going to be some indecision here in the future. I'm wondering if some of you have already blocked this person. I do feel like some of you are trying to, you know, someone's going to have to rationalize this, this relationship. And I think because there's not there, I don't see any emotion here. It, it It's more of strict, strictly sexual. That doesn't mean that it can't become more, you know, if it's going to, can become more or if you're just like a hit it and quit it kind of thing okay if it's a hit it and quit it kind of thing and they just come in as they please and then they go back out it's not it's not worth it you need something that's going to be more stable because it's not going to be good for your mental health and that's exactly what I'm getting and I don't like to talk about health and stuff like that but if I get the message I say it and again I'm not a doctor or a physician so that's all I'm going to say about that. Okay. Leo, Scorpio, dealing with the Leo spirit. Please give me guidance for Scorpio's highest good. If they're dealing with the Leo, what do they need to know, spirit? What do they need to know for their highest good? Regarding love, please, with a Leo. Please and thank you. I hope y'all are doing well today. It has been storming here in Louisiana, in South Louisiana. We needed the rain. It has not rained in quite some time. All right, the world. Ooh. The lovers, holy shit. Outcome, queen of pentacles. Well, there is a completion. The world talks about having gone full circle. And an ending is completing for a new cycle to begin. With the lovers, I mean, clearly you can look at the picture and it speaks for itself. However, <laughs> whirlwind romance sweeping your ass off your feet is what I'm hearing. In every way possible. The outcome, Queen of Pentacles, shit. That's wealth and prosperity, confident and secure. Honey, this is like, this is a great match. Okay, now remember, don't force it to fit if you're with some asshole or even a bitch. And I don't like to say those words, but please don't force this if this is not your story. Like, if things feel good, they've been going good, you really feel kind, don't get into the negative aspect here. Okay, I do feel like either one of you or both of you have come from a lot of background noise and shit and bad relationships or a really bad relationship. That cycle has ended and the universe is now giving you this as as like a repayment of all the hard work and leveling up that y'all have done. This is this is great. Oh, I love that. I love such positive. That makes me so happy. <laughs> All right, let me get off my soapbox here. All right, Scorpio and a Virgo. Scorpio and a Virgo. Spirit, please give me guidance to tell me what Scorpio needs to know regarding a Virgo. What do they need to know regarding a Virgo for their highest good and love, please? Thank you. What do they need to know? King of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Holy shit. Outcome. Four of Swords. Okay. Let me just say this. 
you have the court cards of the same Arcana, minor arcana. You have a king and queen of pentacles. That is the, a divine counterpart. Okay. With the four of swords as your outcome, I'm getting the strong energy of like put down the freaking phones, put down. Okay. So pentacles does relate to work. Okay, and I feel you, you could both be very financially stable in your jobs and do really well, but it's like, take a break from the electronics, like an electronic detox is the energies I'm getting because it's like, even when you get home, you're still doing work or somebody's still doing work. Okay, like spend time to rest and, and spend time together and be healing for one another instead of you know, I, I do feel like this card does signify perhaps like things have paused. Everything's at a standstill. Well, it's because you need to nurture one another. I mean, work can only fulfill you so much. It's not everything. And I feel like you need to take a break. From the electronics is what I'm getting. <laughs> I can only go with the energy, guys. Don't laugh. I'm just rolling with it. I put the shit down. Put, don't watch TV. Like, go outside. Spend time talking. You know, go outside, whether you have a chimney or some kind of backyard um, chimney or fireplace, okay? And get coffee or a glass of wine or whatever. And spend quality time together. Because that will rejuvenate any sense of pause or stillness here. Okay. I won't be a dead horse. But I'm just saying, like, you know, it's very easy to do nowadays with the electronics and everything we have. And not separating ourselves, but we, we forget that how damaging that can be 22, to a relationship. All right, Spirit, Scorpio, dealing with a Libra, please, Spirit, please give me guidance as to what Scorpio needs to know dealing with a Libra for their highest good, please. What do they need to know for their highest good, please? in love if they're dealing with a scorpio dealing with a libra spirit please and thank you magician knight of pentacles outcome is page of wands Hmm. I feel okay. So with the Knight of Pentacles, it's the slowest moving night of the deck. Slow moving, like turtle pace. Okay. With the Page of Wands as your outcome, I'm getting a few things here. So I'm going to clarify each card, okay, because I'm getting way too many energies here, and I need to narrow this down, because I won't finish. I'll be here for like an hour going through this. Okay, Spirit, please tell me why the Magician is here. Please tell me why the Magician is here, Spirit. Please tell me why the Magician is here for, hold on one, let's see. Scorpio dealing with the Libra. Why is the magician here, Spirit? Why is the magician here? Please and thank you. 
High Priestess in Reverse. Do I have these upside down? Nope. Wait. How did I do that? I do that. Shit. Hang on. Alright, I'm gonna put this to the side because I think I jacked that one up the cells and I and I'll go and I'll Yeah, it's been a long day. Just forgive me. I need to go get some coffee here. <laughs> okay. Spirit, please give me why the magician is here. Please give me why the magician is here. Okay, why is the magician here? King of Wands, Spirit, why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Justice. Why is the Page of Wands here, Spirit? Why is the Page of Wands here? Why is the Page of Wands here? Ace of Wands. Okay, you have a lot of wand energy. So typically, when the Page of Wands is an outcome, it's normally... Like, it's about excitement and thrill, but it's not about commitment. It's all about having fun and partying, okay? Now, with the King of Wands, with the Magician... All right, let me back up a second. I feel like I, I reversed this, and I shouldn't have. Okay, so let me just tell you what this is. Although these look like two different cards, they're more similar than you think. The High Priestess works on the internal part of yourself, and the Magician works on the external, okay, to some degree. And I do feel like for some of you, this could be some kind of settlement here, okay, because this talks about an upheaval as well coming perhaps okay and some of you are going through some type of perhaps litigation okay and someone's going to be getting a settlement okay so i just wanted to throw that out there and it could be regarding children doesn't have to be take it as it resonates so now i'm going to go with what i have here so with the magician and the king of wands it's it's about a passionate and charismatic person okay there is a huge emphasis here on your willpower and your bravery and what you desire okay and that you need to be assertive here and be sure to speak what it is you want the magician manifests things okay so and the king of wands can be egotistical so see exactly so I, I get these, um, I can't even, I don't know why I can't talk today. I get these affirmation texts, and I'm going to read it because I feel like it, I thought I put my phone on silent, but there's a reason this came through, and I want to share it with you. It says, I am confident that things will get better even if I'm not sure how or when. There's a reason this went off, and somebody needs to hear this. I am confident that things will get better even if I'm not sure how or when, okay? Maybe that's regarding that court case or whatever it is, legal, whatever it is, okay? So anyway, the King of Wands can be, an, it can be a little egotistical, so you may need to be assertive from that perspective. With the Knight of Pentacles and the Justice, it could mean that there just needs to be a balance between certain things between the two of you like someone may want to rush into something and someone may not it's just about balancing i don't get negative energy from that now with the ace of wands and the page of wands that talks about you know the ace of wands is all about new beginnings here and it's based on you know some type of existing idea, existing plan, existing news. This could just take a minute to come to fruition, okay? So be patient here. That's what I'm getting for this. All right, Scorpio. Sorry about that. I hope that resonated with someone. Okay. Let me 
you put the timestamp for 30.06. Scorpio dealing with the Scorpio. Sorry, y'all. I have to fix this chair. It's, it's fairly new, and I must have not tightened it enough when I put it together. Okay. Scorpio, dealing with a Scorpio spirit, please give me guidance as to what Scorpio needs to know for their highest good and love. Dealing with another Scorpio, please. What do they need to know for their highest good? Dealing with another Scorpio, please. And thank you. The Star, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Outcome, the Queen of Wands. Okay, someone could be healing here with the star. It's about healing energy. Some would, someone can be coming towards you that's very healing, as well as a partner. Okay. The queen of, because the, with the queen of pentacles here, the queen of pentacles is very down to earth, nurturing, generous, practical, okay? With the outcome as the Queen of Wands, it, it's, it's a very attractive relationship here or whatever this is, okay? Okay, so let me, let me say this. Because I know it's not going to be for everybody. Because I have to say things as I feel like I need to say them. So I feel like some of you may have been trying to get pregnant. Okay. However, this is in relation to you. Okay. You've had to go through some healing. Some stuff that, you know, maybe you miscarried. Maybe you didn't. Okay. But I still feel like there's been some kind of healing and revitalization needed here. Okay, because the Queen of Pentacles is very nurturing and, and I'm just getting a strong feeling that somebody's been wishing for a baby. Okay, whether it's your first one, a second one, take it as it resonates. Okay, and I do feel like it, it, it's going to come in fruition. Okay, don't ask me a time frame because I really don't, I'm not crazy about time frames because everybody's on a different time frame. So... But I do feel somebody's wish will, you know, somebody's wish will be granted for that. And it will be within the time it's supposed to be. You know, because as humans, we are impatient. And the divine says, you know, whether it's divine, God, Holy Spirit, angels, whatever it is you believe in. Because I'm certainly not here to dictate that to you. But whatever it is you believe in, it's on their clock, not ours. They know best. Things are all happen for a reason. I do like how this is facing, they're facing each other, okay, because with the Queen of Wands, you know, this is about being proud, standing your ground as an outcome, like this is, you know, I do feel like this has come a far way for some of you. A lot of healing had to go into something maybe before you got into this. Okay. But it's a very enthusiastic energy, very goal oriented. You know, the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who is goal oriented, focused. Down to earth. And together, it's like, it's kind of like you're very powerful together. Okay. I know that's not for all of you, but I got to say what I feel. So I'm not going to make something up to appease anyone for what they want to hear. So I'm just going to throw that out there. 3434 for Sag. That. I would look up angel number 3434 because that's some type of angel message there. Spirit, please give me guidance for Scorpio dealing with the Sagittarius. Please tell me what Scorpio... Okay, well, if it falls out, I will take it. Oh, 
not liking it, but I will. Scorpio with a Sag, Scorpio with a Sag, Scorpio with a Sag. What do they need to know for love? For their highest good, what do they need to know? Clearly, we have the Three of Swords. Could be healing energy. Let's be positive. The Sun and the Outcome, Judgment. Scorpio. You have two major arcanas here, the sun and judgment. Okay, so I don't always look at the three of swords as a negative card. Neither should you. Because as soon as the three of cords, swords come out, you know, it, it, it's... Everybody thinks, oh, third party. Not necessarily, okay? So, the heart here to me represents emotion, love, joy, right? All these things that we feel with our heart and our emotions. The swords, you know, and, and, and about giving love, right? And the swords can talk about our negative thoughts that overrule our good emotions here. And it's like... Then we get into this cloudy space, right? And then our judgment is clouded. And some of us, you know, decide to retract and seclude ourselves. Seclude ourselves from love. Okay? That's the energy I'm getting with this. But the universe is like, hey... There's bright, this is, this is a really, this, I don't feel this is bad or negative at all. Not the energy I'm getting with this. This could be because of your past issues. You know what it's from, okay? And it, it could be from past hurt, not wanting to repeat the future again. I mean, not repeating the past and the future again. Hesitant about love. Okay, but the universe is saying, hey, the sun is the happiest card in the deck. Give this a chance. Okay, give this a chance. Because you will see the light after the darkness. And maybe you need some more healing here. And a little bit more time before you come together with this person, whatever this is for you. Okay, but the universe is going to require you to make a judgment call. Let me pull, let me, let me pull, give me just a second. Let me pull the judgment card from another deck because I want you to see something. I want you to see the visual. Give me a second, guys. I'm sorry, but I like to take the time to explain stuff and that's just what I like to do when I, I'm a visual learner, so I like to show things because I may not explain it as well as um, I can, you know, you can see something. Of course, watch it be like the last freaking card. Hang on. <laughs> it's all good, y'all. Just be patient with me. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Okay. So the three of swords in this deck, you can see it's raining. After the rain comes what? The sun. So the judgment card is the universe coming to say, are you going to rise from this? Are you going to rise from your negative thoughts and feelings, whatever that pertains to? Okay, again, I do not feel this is a third party, and if it is a third party, this doesn't pertain to you from someone who cheated on you. Okay, and if you do have a third party, I'm going to tell you that in order for you to get the sun and get the happiness, you, you need to make the right decision, which you know in your intuition what that is. Anyway, so 
like I said, I feel like this is more negative thoughts from a past issue here or something of that nature. Okay. But the universe is going to say, okay, are you going to rise when I blow this horn? When is it Archangel Gabriel? I think it's Archangel Gabriel with the horn or Michael, but I think it's Gabriel. Okay. Are you going to rise to what we want, what this is to be? Or are you going to stay down and stay in that? Stay in that mindset. Because this, this can be, this person is healing for you. This person is your sunshine in darkness. This person is the light peeping through these dark clouds. Okay. I didn't mean to rant. But again, when I feel like I need to go over something and do it, I'm going to do it because that's just who I am. And if you don't like it, I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry, because it's just who I am and that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Next is Capricorn. All right, Scorpio. Spirit. A Scorpio dealing with a Capricorn, please. What does Scorpio need to know for their highest good? What do they need to know for their highest good? What do they need to know for their highest good and love? With a Scorpio dealing with a Capricorn, please. And thank you. All right, my loves. Let's see what we got here. Strength, Ten of Swords, Outcome, The Star. I'm going to clarify this because I do feel like someone's been through a lot of disappointment. Perhaps has a lot of emotional baggage here from past experiences. You know, I want people to understand that anybody can read cards. You can go look up the, the meaning and say, oh, somebody's been back said, oh, okay, you need strength. Oh, okay, the outcome's your wish fulfillment. Okay, next. It's not always, it's not about that. It's about the energy you feel with this. This is some painful shit here. Painful. Hurtful. And when I see this, a lot of people didn't even see this shit coming. Ten means completion. It's done. It's ended. And if it hasn't, it's about to. Alright, so let me go ahead and, and clarify this. Spirit, please give me guidance. Why is the strength card here, Spirit? Why is the strength card here? Please and thank you so much. Please and thank you so much, Spirit. King of Swords. Spirit, why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is the Ten of Swords here, Spirit? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is the Ten of Swords here, Spirit? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Three of Cups. Why is the Star here, Spirit? Why? is the star here why is the star here why is the star here the queen of wands all right so the strength and the king of swords the king of swords is someone who struggles with intimacy they think more with their head, not really with feelings. Hmm. Someone has emotionally detached themselves here, I'm feeling. 
Okay, so I'm not, I'm going to try not to get emotional here, but this is, okay. <sighs> All right. The strength in the King of Swords is talking about strength and challenges. Okay. The personal power and the inner strength you have needed to exert the outward control. So, you know how sometimes inside we can feel like so disruptive and it's like it just comes out sometimes. Someone has learned to maintain the balance between has needed the strength to learn how to balance this. And that that in itself is a work of art there, okay? It's about confidence, passionate. I'm sorry, passion, being strong, okay? Now, somebody can look at this and say, oh, there was a third party. Okay, I'm not seeing this. I'm seeing it as somebody got their ass kicked and went to the ground, was felt practically dead, and got their ass back up, revived themselves, and is refusing to stay down. With the star and the queen of wands here, so congrats, if this is you, congratulations, great job. Now, could this be somebody's third party? Sure, but this is the, I'm not getting hardly any energy for that. Okay, take this as it resonates. The message for me is that somebody has been kicked down, backstab, beat down, whatever. This is like dead. It's an ending. And instead of staying down, you've had the strength, you've, you've worked on yourself, and this could be one person and you, the other person, because we're talking about, you know, people dealing with other people here in a situationship, relationship. You got back up. I do feel you've had the support of others around you who love you, friends, family, whatever that looks like. With the star, it's very healing. This is so healing. Someone significant, if they haven't, is gonna is going to enter your life. And I keep hearing hope floats. Okay. Because you're going from this healing, loving energy to just, you found the happiness again. Okay. Ugh. If that's your story, oh, my heart is with you. I can feel it. And I normally don't get that emotional. <laughs> Even though I'm a cancer, it's all good though. It's all good. I'm connecting with somebody. All right. So Aquarius, 48, 45. Y'all have the longest reading so far, Scorpio. Spirit, please give me guidance on a Scorpio dealing with an Aquarius, please. Scorpio dealing with an Aquarius for love. What do they need to know for their highest good, please? And thank you. Please and thank you. Okay, well, that came out. So I'm going to take it. Ace of Swords. Two of Pentacles. Page of Cups. Okay. So let me tell you what I'm getting. With the Ace of Swords, it's about bringing truth to a situation. It's about clarity. It's about cutting through any bullshit to get down to the nitty gritty. And there's some information you're waiting to receive. Now, 
with the two of pentacles again people think oh they're juggling somebody i don't think this is about juggling someone i think this is about trying to figure out what do i want someone here is like what do i want okay with the outcome as the page of cups that tells me that there's a love attraction here that will grow like i think it starts off as a crush and somebody's like okay is this going to turn into more like what do you want okay like maybe this person is acting somewhat immature doesn't need to be or childlike like a crush standpoint is what i mean okay i mean they could be acting immature you know but anyway so but i feel that you know, the Page of Cups is a dreamer. It's someone who's very imaginative. And you have to remember, they're still out of page status. So, again, it's about cutting through any bullshit, getting the clarity you need, the information you need, okay? Or flip the roles as you see, okay? And someone wanting to put things in balance to move forward. Deciding what to do here. Okay. Somebody could be putting work ahead of this situation, relationship. Okay. So it's kind of like, all right, do you, do, are you interested? Are you not? Like, what, what's up with that? But <clears throat> also, if you're single, you could be invited to something and... I always like to throw that out there because with the Page of Cups, I always get strong invitation vibes. I don't know why. I don't know why. I just do. Maybe because I'm a Cancer. Who knows? So if you're not with somebody, I would strongly, strongly, strongly go. Okay. All right. I will leave that at that. Finally, a Scorpio with a Pisces. Scorpio with a Pisces spirit. Scorpio with the Pisces. Whew, Scorpio, your reading's almost an hour. Holy cannoli over here. Spirit, please give me guidance for a Scorpio dealing with the Pisces. Oh, did I say Scorpio? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Six of Cups. That fell out on its own. What do they need to know for their highest good and love spirit? What do they need to know for their highest good? So we have Six of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Holy shit. Come on, something good. Outcome, Ten of Wands. Okay. Let's be positive because it doesn't always need to be negative, right? We're going to look for the good in things here. Hmm. Okay, so Six of Cups talks about family and it could be children. It could talk about someone from your childhood, okay? Ten of Pentacles talks about work and the home somewhat, okay? And the Ten of Wands, ten is completion. However, I do look at this in a positive way. The Six of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles could be combining a household, okay? You could have children from a prior relationship. This person could have um, children from another relationship, okay? And it's about combining the two and coming together to combine it, okay? Maybe you have children and this person has a house and it's coming together. Take that as it resonates, okay? But with the, with the Ten of Wands here, it's like a lot of work is going to have to be put in here. But it's doable. Like, I definitely feel it's doable. Let me see. Let me, let me get clarification on the Ten of Wands. Spirit, please give me clarification on the Ten of Wands. Please give me... Give me clarification on the Ten of Wands, please. Do I have these up to, did, I did that shit again. See, look, I did like that. 
when I need to go like that because you can see these are not in reverse. Okay, six of wands is a victory. Yeah, I wasn't getting that. It wasn't. This is a victory. You just have to put some work in. And if, if you both put the work in, okay, there will be victory here with this. There's a lot of passion between you two here. This is the outcome. So don't always look at tarot cards because I know some readers and everybody reads differently and it's okay because everybody gets different energies, but there's not always, there's always a negative and positive to everything. Okay. So just keep that in mind. So this is a victory. And when kids are involved, of course, there's going to need work involved. You need work without kids, right? I mean, you need to put in work into a relationship without kids. And also, this could have been a struggle that, you know, somebody maybe didn't have kids or their kids are older and somebody's is younger and it, it, it was a burden. But, you know, y'all are going to figure it out. It's going to come together. Okay. All right, Scorpio, I am finally done your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a beautiful week and weekend. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, comment. I would really greatly appreciate it to continue providing you videos like this. Okay, keep standing in your power and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.